Well, hello guys. I'm sorry, you can only see the bottom half of me. Let's move that up a bit. Well, hello guys. Today, I'm going to take... Uh, today, in my video, I'm going to be teaching you the part of the cello and the bowl. Whoa. <laughs> sorry. And I have my lovely assistant here with me today. My black cello. Now, the reason I'm using my black cello today is because when I demonstrate parts of the cello, I'm going to be using this because this is a, a performance cello. I don't use it uh, very much. I have not played it at all, actually. I've never played this cello before. That's why it's so out of tune. It could not get tuned before. It would not stay in tune. They would not tune it. I had to make... Uh, there was supposed to be a specific... Uh, shape for the bridge and the M pin was coming out so we just boot it. I still have it. I'm going to be hanging it on my wall. So we're going to be teaching you the parts of the cello starting from the top on the way to the bottom. So at the top here we have the very we have this very pretty swirl. We have this very, very pretty swirl here, and that is called the scroll. The reason it's called scroll is because it's twirled up. The wood is shaped to look like it's twirled up. Like in the olden days, there was paper that was twirled up, and it was called a scroll. That's why it's called scroll, because it looks like that paper that was rolled up. <laughs> then, next to it, or below it, we have the pegs. These are major, major tuning part of the cello. Uh, say, A string sounded like an F. It's two scales above. You would use um, whatever peg the A string is connected to, and you would make it so it actually sounds in the A scale not in the um, F scale. Which I don't know if there's an F scale anyway. Sorry, I'm getting off camera. Okay, and then we turn it behind the cello. And your fingers pretty much go here. Oh wow, I never felt this before, but I feel the paint. So this is just an old, or this is just like a, a poo cello painted. That's pretty much what they did. Back is painted very poorly. So back here, this is called the neck. It's where you put your thumb when you're performing. Sorry. So you put your thumb when you're performing. Um, in violins, you have the neck, which I'm actually going to be doing parts of a violin because I actually have a violin. Is it performance violin? It is this, and I'm losing like two strings of it, off of it, so I won't be doing the string testing at all. Uh, so, and then here, right connected with the neck, the little lighter part of black, this is called the board, the fingerboard. Now the reason it's called a fingerboard is because you put your fingers on it and you play. There is no fingerboard. You had to go all the way down here. You would be playing in thin air. Okay, now we go down to the more bigger and important stuff. Not that the pegs are important and the fingerboard is very important. So, this big old piece of wood here, this is the body. Here, we have the F holes. The reason they're called F holes is because they look like cursive letter F and they're a hole in the cello. Um, they have these because for, like, in a guitar, there's that big gaping hole in the middle. These are their big gaping hole. This is the cello's big gaping hole. And then here we have 
the bridge. Bridge holds the string out so you actually get sound, a more clear sound out of the cello. If this bridge fell down, please go to your teacher or to a music store to have it get fixed or else you will not be able to play. Here we have the C valve. I'm not really sure what the C valves are for. The reason they're called C valve is because it's shaped like a C on the side of the cello and it's a valve I guess. <laughs> then we go even lower down here. We have here. These are the fine tuners. So if say your A is too flat, you're going to use the uh, screw that is connected to the A string to make sure that A is not too flat, not too short. And right here, this is the tail. This is what holds the screws or the fine tuners and the strings. There we go. Actually, in here, you can kind of see it right there. That is the. Um, this is. Um, it's a pole. Sorry, I'm having a. I can't think. Uh, so, we'll just call it the pole. The sound pole. Um, so what this does is, if that was gone, the sound wouldn't. You wouldn't have any sound. All right, now we go all the way down to the bottom. We have our end pin. End pin helps you lift the helps you lift the cello towards your body to your body. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way. Let's go to the bow. I'm going to actually get, lift you guys up. Let's go to the bow. So over here, I have my precious bow. Okay. Now, this bow has very little parts, but all the parts play a big role. So right back here, this is the screw. So it loosens, watch this, it loosens the hair, see how that, and also tightens it. This is also not a very good bow because the frog is coming off. Speaking of the frog, this is the frog. And right in the middle is the eye. This is where you place your fingers and your thumb for your ball hold. Oh wait, like left and the wrong fingers. This is where you place your fingers and your thumb for your ball hold. Right here, this is the grip. There's wire and then there's also black rubber on it. And here, you have the most important part of the bow called the hair. Do you guys know what kind of hair it is? This is horse hair. Now you put rosin on the horse hair to make a very clear sound. And then here, also a very very important part. This is the tip, this is the, not the tip, the stick. We call it a stick because it's pretty much a stick. It's bent for a reason. That's why you don't want your horse hair too tight or else the stick will go straight. We don't want that. That'd be bad. Now you're going to lose horse hair every now and then. See, I just lost the horse hair. It's fine. As long as you don't go bare, as long as your bow doesn't go bare, you're going to be alright. Say, you don't, don't be like, oh, Okay, so what? It, so if your hair pops out, one of them pops out. I'm just gonna pull it. So it pops out like that. Don't be like, oh, oh no, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh no, no, no. Oh. Just pull them off. It's fine. 
won't make a difference. Three pieces of horse hair doesn't make a difference. Now, if it was like this much horse hair fell off, get a new bow. They sell them at Music and Arts. Because you cannot play, or I don't think you can play with that much bow. Wouldn't be as clear. You don't get the. I'm losing blood. A lot of blood.